All right, thanks. Well, schools under the Louisiana High School Athletic Association have several guidelines to follow. One that is currently not included is an ambulance policy at high school football games. As Ethan Tuttle explains, athletic trainers are making sure they are prepared after a player recently had a cardiac event. Just a couple of weeks ago, Devarion Davis, a freshman at East Ascension High, suffered a cardiac event during his freshman football game. Abby Gotro's training staff sprang into action. So when the cardiac emergency happens on field, um, you know, me and the other trainers that are certified run onto the field and kind of just assess the situation and see what's at hand. Um, our coaches are trained that we have a protocol and everybody has their own job and what to do. That expertise was needed because there was no ambulance on scene at the time. LHSAA doesn't require an ambulance at high school football games, a decision made by school leaders. For now, schools are left to communicate with local fire departments and emergency services to volunteer time to be at the events. If we need any assistance, they're one call away. They're easily accessible to get to. We have all of their cell phone numbers if we need, and their communication with that is, is great. East Ascension High works with the Gonzalez Fire Department frequently. Schools like Santa Ma also work directly with Gonzalez Fire to be as prepared as possible. One trainer from the school told us they have an ambulance at every home and away football game, but that only extends to the highest level. Right now it's just varsity. Um, we are in the works of trying to get that available for freshmen and JV just because at the same time they are just as important as a varsity game. Um, but right now just with the high contact of varsity, it's just with them right now, but we're in the works for it. It can be difficult to allocate emergency services to every sporting event, but Abby Gotro feels everything is operating exactly how it should. Our, our communication is great with them. I think it's top tier and what we're doing right now in Central Parish is what exactly what needs to be done. Ethan Tuttle for WAFB 9 News. Now, DeVarian was released from the hospital hours after his injury. East Ascension's next varsity game will be Friday against Live Oak.